Food insecurity is a struggle for many families in Minnesota, but it becomes even more of a concern when the school year winds down. Our Pauline Lee joins us today with some tips on where families can get some help during the summer months. Pauline. Hi, Shayla. Yeah, places like the Boys and Girls Club in Minneapolis and St. Paul, they start offering their summer meal programs next week. But the organization's greater Minnesota locations have already started last week. They say they're seeing a growing need. Roughly 95% of students served in the Boys and Girls Club of Central Minnesota qualify for free and reduced lunch during the school year. Now, that need carries over to the summer months when classes are out. Last summer, the organization's 17 locations served more than 17,900 snacks and more than 20 27,800 meals. They say they're on track to serve even more this summer. Food insecurity is a big thing. Um, and if we can serve them a meal and a snack while they're at, in our clubs, that takes off a lot of pressure off families. They know that the club is going to be there to provide them those meals and then also provide them mentorship and positive activities and, you know, ways to keep their brains and minds and bodies active and healthy. And these things, these consistent opportunities are what helps kids build great futures. Now, Minnesota Boys and Girls Clubs plans to extend or expand rather into 10 new communities within the next two years. That's with the help of the State Department of Education. Uh, those new locations will also not only serve summer programs, but also summer meals. Now, plenty of other organizations also have locations this summer. You, uh, you have the St. Paul uh, Nutrition Services food truck that hits the road again on the 26th. Minneapolis Parks and Recs has several dozen locations across the city this summer. And then, of course, the USDA has a great uh, function on their website where you can punch in your location and see all of the places that offer free meals for the summer. We have a link to all of that on our website, WCCO.com. Shayla. All important information, our Pauline Lee reporting. Thanks so much, Pauline.